Using Wiimod on Bazite for my Lenovo Legion Go. Let's go. Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's talk about Wiimod. And specifically we're going to talk about the version 8.16.1. That's the latest version of Wiimod as of recording. I've been getting a lot of messages, comments on YouTube. People seem to be having a lot of troubles installing this version of Wiimod onto their Steam Deck Steam OS with the methods that I've showed them in the past videos. And I don't blame them because recently I did try to use this version. I tried to install it onto my Steam Deck and I also got the same issues. I also got the antivirus message. I think it's because um, Proton Experimental got updated and it's now using Proton 9. And I think Proton 9 and Proton 8 has like a lot of changes and something broke that. So yeah, that's why I'm getting still issues. So luckily I do have a working prefix folder from way back when. I think it's from when I first installed Wiimod onto the Steam Deck and I copied that prefix folder, backed it up. Um, and uh, normally if I have issues, I copied that like working prefix folder to the new prefix folder and yeah, things just work. Like, so yeah, that's like, that's my secret key. Um, but I'll try to find a way to get it to work. Um, but right now that's the workaround method. So I installed it onto my Steam Deck and um, my Lenovo Legion Go on Bazite. So you might be thinking I'm using my Steam Deck right now. Actually, if you take a look, if I go to system settings, take a look at the operating system. I'm using Bazite. This is Fedora Linux. Okay, and if you take a look at the hardware, it's the Ryzen Z1 Extreme because I'm on the Lenovo Legion Go. And you might be wondering why did I install like this SteamOS clone, Bazite, onto my Legion Go. It's because Legion Go uses Windows and Windows is not very good for gaming really because um, it's got a lot of bloatware. Uh, it takes up a lot of resources. Your games don't really run at its full potential. And I've installed this onto my Lenovo Legion Go, and my games run really, really well. It's like it's like a like um, Steam Deck Pro. The Legend of Zelda: Tears of the Kingdom. I'm playing this on emulator, the Switch emulator. I get like 40-ish, 50 frames, uh, like yeah, normally. So it's a lot, lot better. Okay, so let's run Wii Mod. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It's the same on Steam OS. I just thought I might film this on the Lenovo Legion Go. It might be more interesting because I've got so many videos on um, Wiimod on Steam Deck. I want to show you something different. Okay, so if you go to settings, you can see I've got the latest version, 8.16.1 installed. No problem. Okay, and if I run a game, I run a game. I don't have many games. I haven't like been using the Lenovo Legion Go. I normally use my Steam Deck for portable gaming, but uh, yeah, this is more for me testing stuff out. Um, yeah. Okay, so if I boot up the game, and you can see here, switch windows, I can switch to Wii Mod, and that didn't work. Okay, it didn't switch over to Wii Mod. That's because I did that on purpose. Okay, because a lot of people do ask me why they can't switch windows. It's because you need to go to settings, system, you need to turn this on, enable developer mode. Make sure this is on. That's like, this needs to be on so you can switch between windows. So I did that purposely, let you guys know, if you believe me. So let's boot up the game again. So it works on um, non-Steam game. Yeah, I wanna let you guys know, this works for non-Steam game. I'm not running this from Steam. You can see I add custom, I've got a path. Yeah, this is a non-Steam game. Okay. So yeah, Heroes Adventure, this is a great game. I do have some videos on this. Uh, it used to be Chinese only, but now it has English translation. It's a Chinese wuxia, like martial arts RPG. It's really good, great like pixel art game. All right, so now let's go to Wii Mod. So you can see I can switch between windows. All right, let's turn off the mod first. I don't want the mod on. Okay. So let's go back to the game. Okay, you can see HP 
148. Yeah, this is like, I haven't added any cheats yet. Okay. Let's go to the Lost Forest. Go to the Lost Forest and do some combat. And yeah, we can toggle on some cheats. Okay. All right, we've got a fight for the fight. Okay. So you've got this bar up here, and like the more uh, le higher level you can act, you can like do more actions. You can like fight more. You can see the snake is below uh, because I'm higher level than him. The snake, the viper. Okay, let me move over here. Let him attack me. I want him to attack me. All right, so negative five. Okay, you can see that. So I took five damage. That's my HP. 143. So if I turn on the cheats. Oops. Okay, so if I turn on the cheats, unlimited HP. Um, what else I got? I think I can do this unlimited EXP. So, so once I kill him, I get a lot of experience. Maybe maximum experience, I think, if it's unlimited. And also I can do, oh, I think there's one more cheat that I want to show you. Um, this one. Instant action. So, like, I can just use my moves all the time. Okay. So you remember this bar, right? See how the snake never moves? His bar never moves, even if I'm resting. It's because I, I'm i always instant action. So if I attack, right, you see I leveled up to 100. I used to be level 1 because I got maximum HP. So that's why, yeah. The game's not fun if you play it like this. But uh, yeah, if you just want to skip through the game. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm already, already level 100. So I think I'm maxed out. Yeah, max level. I'm already in max level with one punch. Yeah, so the cheats obviously work. Yeah. All right, so that's, yeah, that's that's it. Anything else I want to show you? Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I think that's about it. It also works for another game. Um, Stardew Valley, I think that's another game that I've got. Um, let me see. Stardew Valley. Oh, where'd it go? There it is. Okay, add game. Oh, I don't have it here. So I need to search for it. Yeah, so you need to put it in the same prefix folder. That's the best way. So it's on my C drive, games, Stardew Valley. Okay, and then let's click play. All right. Do I have a save? I'm not sure if I have a save. Yeah, I do. That's great. Stardew Valley, I think um, the Wii mod mods don't really work. I know the money mod works. Other mods don't really work. So uh, maybe I need to move my camera. Okay, so I've got $500 right now. And if I turn on the mods. Yeah, I think I need to move my camera more. Oh, okay, here. So unlimited money. So if I turn this on. Okay. Yeah, you can see I've got unlimited money. Yeah, the mods work. So yeah, I think I'll leave it here. I think you know what we mod does. It's great. Uh, you know, if you just wanna, if you don't wanna grind, sometimes I, you know, some games I just don't have the time to grind. So yeah, I'll leave it here. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section, and you know, uh, hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. See you guys in the next one. Later.